Hey, this video is all about learning how to plot 3D MATLAB graph like all of this. And at the end, you are going to get a bonus tip to create animated 3D graph like this. Isn't it interesting? So with all of these things in mind, let's quickly jump into the video. Now we are going to run the script and this is how you can plot a 2D graph. This is just to brush up the things. If you are also interested in knowing more about plotting 2D graph and styling it the way you want, then just check out these videos. The link of these videos is in description box below and above here in card. But, but, but. This video is not about plotting 2D graph, it's about 3D plotting. Basically, 2D plotting is required two axes and hence only two coordinates. But for 3D, we require three coordinates to represent any point. So let's get the Z axis to plot 3D graph. So for that, we'll close this thing, we'll add Z over here z is equal to x into sine of x. Instead of this simple plot, we need to write plot 3 for 3D. And we need to provide 3 coordinates x, y and z. We have provided x label, y label. So we will also provide z label. And let's run this thing. So this is our first simple 3D graph is ready. If you want to title it, so it is first simple 3D plot. Now when you click this rotate 3D button, you can click and rotate this graph. You can change your viewing angle, the perspective from which you are observing this graph. So just hold on left click and drag. You can view this graph from different angles. When I am shifting this graph over here in bottom left corner, you can observe two values AZ and EI. Right over here right now it is minus 21 and EI is 22. This is basically azimuth and elevation. This azimuth means what direction to face. Basically horizontal movement represented by azimuth. And the second term represents elevation. Elevation means vertical movement at which height you are observing. Basically, this azimuth and elevation is represented to identify the location of satellite which is rotating above the earth. But for our 3D graph, it is representing our viewpoint from which angle and which height and which direction. So basically from direction and angle you are observing this graph, it is represented by this azimuth and elevation. Just close this thing. Now, every time when you run the graph, the viewing point will be set to the default point. What if you like to set this graph to a particular viewing point? For example, let us rotate it like this and this is the angle where we want to view this graph. Let's just rotate it a little more. It looks like V of learning vibes, right? But this is not the appropriate angle. So let's shift it a little bit more and I think uh, let's keep it up to this point, right? So azimuth is minus 8 and elevation is 41. Remember this thing, I'm closing this thing, running it again and it is again set to our default point. The default point is something else, right? Minus 37, 30, but we want to keep it on minus 8 and around uh, 31, right? 
so close it and here you should write view minus 8 comma 32 and let's run it so the graph is set to this viewing point so whenever you are plotting 3d graph you want to set your perspective up to certain angle then you can set those angles from this command let's say instead of this minus 8 uh, we want to do it minus 28 and run so this is minus 28 and the graph looks like this at this angle so this is important command now uh, if you want to change the line width that you can do it from here let's say 3 run so this is how you can change the line width of the graph there are still few more styling ads that you can use in plotting this graph but that we'll see later on now there is another graph which is being used by many users in matlab that is scattered graph which is also being used widely in 3d so how to plot that 3d scattered graph let me show you that thing for that we'll just comment it and over here we'll write and just run see this is our scatter graph if i just comment this view and run this is the default view now let me show you one thing that this is how we are plotting the scatter graph but using this plot command the same plot command if you want to plot the same scatter graph how you can plot for that you need to do some changes in the command changes like we want to plot circles and that would be blue I think this much is enough but we need to plot this thing on a separate figure so let's write figure over here and run so this is our figure 2 and this is our figure 1 in scatter graph the grid is on and in plot grid is not on so let's close it and let me turn on the grid so now the figure 1 represents plot 3 and figure 2 represents the scatter 3 so this both the graph are almost similar the only difference is in the color and now there's a time for a bonus a surprise thing in this video so let me show you that thing now i'm going to show you how to animate a 3d graph and for that let me write a small script I don't want to use all of these things so we'll comment it and the script that we are going to implement to create animations is here when we run this thing you can observe the animation observe over here see the animation was so quick it's finished let me change the value over here we have made some small changes in the value of x and now let's run so now you can see the graph itself is getting animated see how this graph is animated and if you want me to explain how i did this then ask me in comment section below i'll make video on that topic one more thing i want to tell you that you can even export this animation as a video i'm not joking you can export this thing as a video 
and if you want to learn how we can export this thing this animation as video then ask me in comments i'll make video on that topic but i need some handful of comments in this comment section of the video so that i can come to know that many people want to watch this video and i'll definitely make video on that topic and after this bonus tip i'm going to show you something else so now we don't want this thing so again we'll comment it and now i'm going to show you something else for that let's bring all these things back so i'm going to uncomment it we don't want this scatter graph now so remove this thing run we want a line graph so this is our old graph which looks like this but this is just a line plot it is not the surface plot right so to convert this line plot into surface plot there is another command which is known as surf close this thing instead of this plot right surf but to use this surf command this z should be a matrix and to convert this z into matrix we need to write a small code and the code is this the mesh grid this mesh grid will convert 1d vector into a matrix a more detailed explanation on mesh grid is available in our next video we just shift this x to capital x and this y to capital y now just run this thing uh, before running we'll remove this additional values so this is known as the surface plot there are so many stuffs variation and stylings we can add to this 3d graph but all of these things we are going to do in our next video because the length of this video is already so long so all those things we are going to cover in our next video the topics which are covered in our next video will be like patch mesh mesh grid surf surf c contour all these types of command and different types of 3d plots will be covered in our next video and one more bonus thing that will be animation of surface 3d plot the cool animation that you have seen in this video the similar surface 3d cool animation you are going to see in our next video the link for the next video is in description box and in end screen so see you in next video bye bye